Teamwork Spaces is a modern, intuitive content collaboration workspace. In this brief video, you'll see how live widgets enable you to harness the power of Teamwork Spaces. We look at how you can integrate seamlessly with Teamwork projects by embedding fully interactive task lists directly onto a page. You can also easily attach files, add a table of contents to organize your pages and reduce clutter. You can easily embed media via URL so that anyone can view that media without ever having to leave the page. And status chips and info panels are both excellent tools for highlighting different pieces of information across your spaces. These live widgets can be found whenever you're adding or editing a page and using them couldn't be easier. So as you can see here, I'm currently editing a case study SOP page. And while I've added all of the text necessary for this page, I can easily use these widgets to make this page more intuitive, user-friendly and interactive. And to do this, I'll start off by embedding a task list. To do so, just select where you want to embed the task list. Next up, select insert. And down here, you see the option for projects tasks. And now all we need to do is select our project and I'll go with 2019 product launch strategy and then select our task list. Now we can just choose select and now we can see all of the tasks for that task list. We can easily mark any of these tasks as complete where we can see the completion date. And of course, we can also add new tasks. Just type in what needs to be done and select create. Now, if anyone is reading this particular page and wants to add a relevant task, they don't need to manually hop over to teamwork projects in order to do so. Now let's say that for this SOP, I have a template that anyone on the team can use in order to create a case study. We can easily attach that template file to this page, allowing your team to download that file directly from the page rather than having to go searching around for it themselves. To attach a file, again, select our insert menu and select attachments. Now in our attachments window, we can easily drag and drop a file or select browse for files. Now just select your file. And there we go, now the file can easily be downloaded by anyone on your team. And of course, we're not limited to just one file. We can easily add more here if we want to. When viewing a particular page, it might often be the case that you only need to read a particular section. Rather than having to scroll through an entire page to find that section you're looking for, you can easily add a table of contents to link each section for anyone who needs to find that information quickly. To add a table of contents, again, select our insert option and select table of contents. Next up, we can select our heading depth where we can have all levels, heading level one, two, three, etc. And I'll leave this as all levels. Now just click select. And there you go. Now we have easily accessible links that will take us to each of these particular sections. And as well as being able to link a table of contents for our sections, we can also easily add a page list. Again, just select the insert menu. And this time we'll select page list. Now we can either have the pages below this current page or indeed we can select all pages in this space. And I'll select pages below the current page and again, click select. And now we have a link to those pages. And of course, as with any widget, we can easily delete this if we want to. In any working environment, processes are often changing and evolving, which means that content within a particular page will need to be updated to reflect these evolutions. Status chips are a great way to provide updates for important items in your documentation. To add a status chip, again, select the insert menu and select status. Now we can just set our status and we can also select our color. And that's it, now our status chip has been added. In almost every page across every space, there's going to be some important information that people will need to pay close attention to. Info panels are a great way to highlight these important pieces of information ensuring that they won't be skipped over by anyone on your team. And let's say here that I want to make sure that everybody uses this case study template file. I can easily select insert and then info panel. And now we can add that info panel sharing that information. We have several panel options here. We can have info, note, success, error, or indeed warning. Now just add the text for your info panel. And there we go. Now our info panel has been added and we can make sure that everybody uses the template below. When creating a page in Teamwork Spaces, you might find that there's a relevant piece of media that can act as further explanation or a concrete example for people to work from. Luckily, rather than having to display a plain URL, you can easily embed a piece of media directly into that page, ensuring that readers don't need to leave the page they're on. All we need to do is again, select the insert menu, and this time we'll select media. Now just paste in your URL and select OK. Now people can easily just watch that video directly from the page. Now that I've added all the relevant widgets that this page needs, I can easily just publish my work. 
And there we go. Now you know how to get the most out of your content collaboration by using live widgets in Teamwork Spaces to make your content more intuitive, user-friendly, and interactive. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us, support at teamwork.com.